I'm about to teach you guys how to fix Joy-Con stick drift once and for all. We're gonna start with the easy stuff like software updates and work our way all the way up to actually physically replacing the joystick module inside of the Joy-Cons. Rest assured, whether you guys have an original V1 Switch, a Nintendo Switch OLED, or even a Nintendo Switch Lite, these steps are gonna work for you. So go ahead and grab your Switch and let's get started. All right, to start off, go ahead and attach your Joy-Cons to the console if you haven't already done so. We're gonna go into settings and we're gonna do a little software update. So go ahead and scroll all all the way down until you see system go over once and press system update if you have an update available to you go ahead and do that as you can see mine's already up to date after that we're gonna go ahead and back out of that setting scroll up twice into controllers and sensors again we're gonna make sure that our controllers are up to date so go ahead and click into update controllers again same situation if they're already done it's gonna say they're done if not there's gonna be an update go ahead and do that now all right next up we're gonna stay in the same settings but we're just gonna scroll down once and we're gonna calibrate our control sticks. So you're gonna have to identify if it's the left or the right Joy-Con that's giving you issues. Let's just say it's the right. We're just gonna tilt one of the sticks over to the side for a second. Now it's gonna open up. You will be able to see most likely some ghost shakes. It's gonna be flickering and shaking and moving without you really touching the stick. If it's not really doing anything, you can test it out by pulling it all the way to the side and letting go rapidly and do that again on all different sides. You can go ahead and swirl it around a little bit and let go. Sometimes that will go ahead and set off the stick drift and if that was the case then you can go ahead and you can recalibrate by pressing x recalibrate only if there's a problem go ahead and hit it there's not a problem on mine but i'm just going to do it to show you guys anyway we're going to go ahead and pull the stick all the way over and release we're going to go ahead and do that down and release all the way to the left and release all the way up and release and then we're going to go all the way in a circle boom like that three times calibration is complete and it's that easy all right if you you've tried those three steps and you're still getting stick drift, then it's legitimately a hardware issue and it's not inside of the software. So we're gonna have to make a repair one way or the other. The two options that you have, you can go on the Nintendo support website. You can start a repair. They'll let you mail one of these into them for free, fix it and send it back out. But the problem is it still might get stick drift yet again. So for me, I'm actually gonna fix mine at home. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now. We're gonna use a Gilly Kit Hull Sensing Joy-Con here. And the cool thing about this is they work off of magnets so not only are they more precise than the potentiometer based joysticks here but they also are not going to be getting stick drift in the future so let's go ahead and install it and i'll show you guys how to do it to start off grab your tri-point screwdriver and unscrew the four screws on the back of the joy con Next up, take the pry tool and gently pry the two halves apart. Once you've pried the plastic outer pieces apart, gently open the Joy-Con and be mindful that there are two ribbon cables that you don't want to disconnect or damage. Now that the Joy-Con's opened up, you will need to grab a pry tool and pry the battery cable straight up and away from its connector. Now that the battery's disconnected, go ahead and pry that battery out of the housing with the pry tool. For the left Joy-Con, grab a small Phillips head screwdriver. You will need to remove three screws from the mid-frame of the Joy-Con. Keep in mind there is a small ribbon cable attached to the mid-frame, so don't try to lift this up quickly. Moving on to the right Joy-Con, you will need to remove and unplug an antenna which is housed alongside the battery, as well as the coaxial cable. And just like the left side, there are three Phillips head screws. Once those screws are out, gently flip the mid-frame out of the Joy-Con base, and now you will have exposed the thumbstick housing. To free it for replacement, you will need to grab a pair of tweezers and gently unlock and remove three ribbon cables. After those are out of the way, two Phillips head screws and the thumbsticks are free to be replaced. Then comes the easy part, putting the Joy-Cons back together.
finally, the grand reveal to test out if the Joy-Cons work properly, and of course they do. And just like that, you have eliminated stick drift for good. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button, and if you like Nintendo Switch videos, check out this one where I show you my favorite accessories.